Hey, just two videos to go, kids. This is going pretty good, I hope. Now, to multiply fractions. Now, another name for fraction is rational number, because a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. Now, there's two ways to do it. If I have A over B times C over D, you can just multiply straight across. So this would be AC over BD, then reduce. But someone wisely said, you know, if you have something in the numerator that reduces with something in the denominator, you can actually reduce it at the start. So we could do two ways. We could multiply straight across. 2 times 10 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30. And then what's the biggest number that goes into 20 or 30? And that would be 10. So we could reduce both numbers by 10. So the answer is 2 thirds. Or same problem. If you have anything in the numerator that will reduce with the denominator, you can actually reduce it at the start. So 5 goes into 10 two times. 2 goes in. I could do this too also, goes into 6 three times. And then whenever you use the whole thing, it reduces to 1. So then multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. So, we always reduce our fractions, and to be honest, I could cover three days on this if we were doing it in fifth grade. Probably more than that, actually. But you've seen this so much, you're probably like, fractions, oh no! So, if I have 6 over 9 times... Um, let's see, 15 over 10. I could multiply straight across. The only trouble is you're going to get really big numbers eventually. Or I could say, wait a minute, I know 3 goes into 9, 3 goes into 6. Or I could go 3, 3 this way too. Um, but one or the other, not both. So this would leave me 2, this would leave me 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 6 twice. Then, uh, let's see, uh, 3 goes into 15 5 times, 5 goes into 10 twice, and then the 2's, holy cheese, everything canceled out. Now again, I'm not spending a lot of time on this, because this should be review, I hope, I hope. So let's say we have 2 thirds times 9 over 7. Go ahead and see if you can do that for me. Freeze the video and turn me back on. Okay, so 3 goes into 9 3 times. Then nothing else reduces, so you go straight across. 6 over 7. Yowzer. Uh, try this one for me. Let's say you have 10 over 9 times, uh, let's do, hmm, 27 over 4. Ooh, big numbers. Go ahead and try it for me and then turn me back on. Okay, so 9 actually goes into 27 and leaves you 3. And then 2 goes into both of those. So multiply straight across, it would be 15 over 2. Let's try this one. 2 thirds times 1 twelfth. So let's see. You could multiply straight across, reduce, but those numbers get really big. So it's usually easier to reduce. 2 goes into 12 six times. You leave 1, so it would be 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 times 6 is 18. Hey! Well, now dividing fractions. Again, you've done this so much. 
So let's say I have two thirds and I want to divide it by one half. Well, our goal is to get a one in the bottom. Now I can multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing because anything divided by itself is one. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, just flip the denominator, this turns into one. So it'd be two thirds times three. I said that wrong, I apologize. Two thirds times two, then you multiply straight across, it'd be four thirds. Now, if I have, let's say three fourths divided by, let's say two thirds, this division is like a denominator symbol. So this is like on the bottom of the fraction. So you would do three fourths and take the reciprocal of the term after the division. Now there's nothing to reduce, so you just multiply straight across. Nine eighths. So let's say I have four fifths divided by one tenth. So again, the term on the denominator or in the denominator and the term after the division is the one you take the reciprocal of. So I actually can reduce five goes into 10, that's two. Four times two is eight. And that's my answer because one times one is one. So if it's in a denominator, take the reciprocal of that fraction, multiply it to the top, or the term after the division symbol. So let's do one more, seven tenths divided by 14 over five. So the term after division, we're gonna flippy. So seven tenths times five fourteenths. So seven goes into 14 two times and five goes into 10 two times. So it's gonna be one fourth. Just multiply straight across. So try two for me, please. Just two, don't panic, just two. So do, um, let's see, eight tenths, two fifths divided by eight tenths, and then three fourths divided by nine halves. Do those two for me and then we'll be done for the done. Okay, so it'd be three fourths times two ninths. Two goes into four twice. Three goes into nine three times. Multiply straight across. One, three times two is six. Woo-hoo. This one, um, we're going to, did I flip that? Yeah, I did. So two-fifths times 10 over eight, five goes into 10 two times, two goes into eight four times. So that would be two-fourths, one times two, one times four. But we can reduce this, two goes into four two times. So the answer is one half. I hope this is coming back to you. Only one more video to go. Hee hee hee.